Hi guys, Tivik here and welcome to episode 9 of Minecraft Season 3. So, there has been a few changes since uh, the last episode, which you might see on the minimap already. But I have started up my farms. These babies are now running at full speed. And they're working pretty well. well full speed, I should say. They are all powered by peat engines. It's cheap, it's simple, and it works. So... Let me walk you through what I did between the last episode and this. It's been a lot, actually. Oh, look at that. Harvested some wheat. And there it goes. Awesome. Um, I made a room downstairs, or rather, a series of tunnels. I get to all these things. Um, I'll switch to uh, this view so you can actually see. Um, this here is directly below the farm, is it? Yes. It's below the farm. And straight south here is the peat bog itself, where all the fuel gets produced. And over here is the tree farm. All right? So these are all hooked up with logistics pipes. And let me just get my wrench. There we go. Um, these here are um, uh, providers, well suppliers pipes, I think, uh, that keep item stock. So I have two stacks of saplings and two stacks of humus, but it does do partial requests. So once that is down to even one sapling, it will request one. So it keeps steady flow. Very useful. The same goes for all of these machines, really. Um, inside here, I moved the um the factory to make the uh, bog earth to here this is the auto crafting table that creates six bog earth from dirt and sand and the buckets of water get refilled through there i was thinking maybe i should request some just for fun um the remote order is pretty cool let's make 20 now look at this Sand will come in here, and it will craft, and the empty bucket goes out and into that one, which is then filled up very quickly and sent back into this machine. I could have more of them, but I think three is good enough. It produces the bug earth quickly enough for this to work, so... There we go. And um, that's another neat little tool that I have, uh, the remote orderer. Up there is a remote orderer logistics pipe, and the remote orderer is expensive. I did the diamond chips at one, and let me show you. Remember that we ordered some peat, well, bog earth? It's in there now. Awesome. I'm gonna just stick it in this chest, which has a quick sort hooked up to it. I might actually make that a quick sort and upgrade this chassis to also have an extractor in it. But that's fine. I'm going to keep this room as, well, this part of the room as my manual crafting area. I have a charging bench where I can just charge my utilities. And I need to get some more armor. Um, I have the MFE. And I have my machines. I can request anything that I need. And this is the power that goes down to power all the machines. This here is, as you remember, my little uh, assembly table. And I did unhook these because they use up a lot of energy and I might move these down and start auto crafting from them. Not sure though, we'll see. Uh, I need some steadier supply of energy before I do that and I think I know the exact way of doing this. Um, over here I hooked up my sorting room. So we do have all these cool items and some that is not sorted yet but it's auto sorted mostly. And I went mining, so I do have a fair deal of tin. I did get some gold. And down here is the automatic mas macerator and smelters. So I do have electric furnaces and macerators here. And I'm going to expand these to be faster, because right now they take forever. It's been a couple of Minecraft days for them to go through these ores. And I don't want to use the induction smelter and uh, rotary maserates because they're 
expensive and uh, they use a lot of energy. This is kind of a low energy function. But it works. And you can see the stuff going through the pipes. And there it goes. And up there and into that one. Because this one has both a polymorphic and a provider module. Awesome, isn't it? I like it. So that is a good start for everything. I have a very large amount of peat, 349, so I could probably start using that to power up a few machines. Also, these four diamond chests are for dirt, cobblestone, and sand, and I don't know what to do with this yet. Um, I will probably make these two separate logistics systems, kind of, not sure, um, and make sure that once these are full, everything will get voided. I'm not sure how to do that yet, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. I could probably have a polymorphic item sink, and I think they are the higher priority than a normal item sink, I don't know, we'll see. Um, also, on this here wall we have one crafting table for, uh, for uh, oh, what's that? That's... Uh, Compost, yes. And this one uses the compost with dirt. And we have a lot of dirt, so that's no problem. Also, another MFE. This one is working fairly well, I should say. Um, in my sorting room, let's go there. I also have this little crystallizer charger pad. Well, I just stand on it and I get neat blue particles. Yay! and that will charge up my lap pack. So, in this episode I was thinking maybe I should do something a little bit interesting. Um, I want to get some ender pearls, and that's gonna take forever I think. Yeah, I do have some stuff in here. I also want to enchant my bow there and see what I can get, but I'm gonna start by making another diamond sword and hope for uh, looting on that. So, here we go. I have one ender pearl, and there are so many uses for this, especially the pa ender pouches and the chests, but also the eye of ender and the pulsating chipset. So I do need to set up some kind of ender, uh, ender pearl farm. Okay, another diamond sword. Let's head over to the enchanting room. up in my house. Eventually I want to move the uh, crafting closer somehow. Anyhow, let's do this. We have level 30, so did we get Bane of Arthropods 4? Uh, that's not what I wanted for 30 levels. Ah. Oh well. can use that to kill spiders I suppose. Do we have any spiders nearby? So I can test this out. I think that's for spiders, at least. I'm not sure, actually. No spiders. We'll have to wait tonight. Um, so, I am going to see if I can find the Ender Fortress somehow. I am going to need a lot of Ender Pearls. And I'm thinking that to be able to do this, we should probably make a new age and yeah maybe a new age I just killed that one because I could I suppose uh, if I make a new age I could oh look at that we're getting a lot of these redwood saplings um, in a new age, I could probably make a very dark uh, eternal night area, um, which means I will get plenty of mobs. So I suppose that's a possibility. We do have plenty of golden chips set now, which is good because we used them for the basic logistics pipes, and I was actually running low on those. Is there another recipe for these? No, it's just diamonds. Alright, so I'm gonna get myself set 
to do a little bit of uh, hunting mobs in New World. And uh, yeah, I'll see you there. See you in a bit. And I have created myself a descriptive book. I haven't done anything with it yet, so let's inscribe a few symbols. I'm going to start with the biome controller. We're going to do a single biome again. And this one's going to be... Hmm. Planes. Just a boring planes with standard lighting. Can I get normal fog, normal sky color? white clouds. Terrain features I want... Ooh, we could get glowstone crystals. Um, I suppose I want some caves. Maybe a ravine. I wouldn't want ravine. Oh well. Uh, I want normal standard terrain generation and we want eternal night. With Um, no weather. And this is going to be the rolling plains or something. And I almost, almost went there now without a linking book back home. There we want it. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna put the planes there, and let's uh, go there. I'm gonna generate this world and be right back with you. Okay, it's night time, and let's go hunting some creatures, shall we? Oh yeah, we might as well just pick whatever we find. Um. So I'm gonna spend some time and ooh lucky, already the first Enderman. Oh, he flew far away. That's the bad part of having. Uh... Wow, he really killed that one fast. I'm gonna try and not die in here. Okay, that's one. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time here just killing a lot of enemies and seeing what I can get. There are more of them over there. Awesome. But I do want to kind of find the place that is the start. Well, I do have a fissure here, so I can get back home pretty easy just jumping down into this here hole. But still, where is the book? Um, there it is. And I'm gonna make a book home waypoint. I should probably run around with a book myself, but you know, this is risking it enough. So, yeah, uh, I do have the starfisher, so it's no sweat. Anyhow, I'm gonna do this for a while and see if I get any ender pearls. There is. Oh, they hurt. Come on. No pearl? Ah, oh, seriously. Okay. I'm gonna do most of this hunting off camera, but I'm actually gonna run back to safety right now and probably construct myself a little bit of a home around here. There we go, I'm safe. I will do some hunting and I'll see you in a while. I made myself some diamond armor and I went to the other place and I have found a total of two. Two enderpearls. Yes, 
There's one. The other one is in my chest room. That's pretty weak, I say. But there is nothing more to do, really. What we do need to do now, however, we need to go to the nether and uh, kill off some blazes. Because we need the blaze rods and uh, suppose that's the only way I can... Yeah, unless I get the blazing combs, but I'm not going to get that. So, yeah. Off to the nether we go. And I'm going to do this mostly off camera, but... I'm going to talk through some ideas that I've had. This here place is full of lava. Right? And lava is good energy. I think you agree with that. So, I'm thinking about hooking up a system here that will pump lava and uh, produce uh, energy from that. And we can use the cool thermal expansion items to move the lava over to to the overworld. We'll see. I haven't quite decided yet. Also, this place is very dangerous. I ran into some withers in here. So, I'm gonna be careful. Yes, I've been here and explored a bit before. I really like the bricks. Okay, we have blazes. Come here. Ow! Totally forgot about that part. Ow! One. Yay, blaze rods. Whew. And this is a bit of a dangerous job here, but I should be good. Ow, that was not fun. Ow. I'm gonna wait until my health regens a little bit. And maybe if we could find a spawner of these, that would be awesome, but. I'd need a silk touch pickaxe to get them back home, and I don't have that, so... Um, that's two blaze rods, that's good. can almost make some... Ow. That's mean. Come here. That's some of them. Oh yeah, these guys are the withers, and you don't want to get hit by them, believe me. He drop a stone sword. Well, that's just awesome. And we are level 25, that's awesome. I'm gonna fly up here, do battle with the blazes. That was a bit stupid. Could have been a blaze rod and I would have lost it. The question is, does this place have a spawner? Yes, I think it does have a spawner. Look at that. That's a spawner, isn't it? Oh yeah. Come here. I did light that up, so it should be... Although I don't know. Oh, another. Okay, you need to be careful around these. Or they will set me on fire. Holy crap, that's a lot of them. more of them. Oh, it's a wither. Oh, dear lord, I died. Okay, guys. Um, let me just recover from this. Oh, guys, I speed crafted myself a jetpack, and uh, hopefully we can get over there before 
everything unloads. The chances are very low, but it's worth a try. And it's lagging something awful right now. Let's just hope that nothing was lost. I did see my... Uh, I did see my drill go, but... Ooh, I get some of the expensive things back at least. If I'm lucky, the drill might have just fallen down here. Yes! Look at that, guys! Whew. Wow. Okay, so... Recovered. Um, I did lose the jetpack, I think. Or it might be up here. Although I did make myself a new one, which is good, so... Whew. Oh, it's a... Magma slime. Oh my... God! A uh, dear... God, okay, I'm not gonna start messing with people. Um... My game is lagging something awful right now. Um, okay. I think I got this now. I need one of those. I also need that. And I'm gonna grab two sticks. And I'm gonna grab some wood. And I'm gonna need some more wood. Um, and we're gonna make real quick a uh, crafting table so I can craft some stuff. We do need to have, uh, I'll also grab some of that, um, we need to have a lot of things, uh, where is all that, oh, it's over there, there we go, copper cable, we need one of these, uh, jetpacks to get where we need to go. Thankfully, I'm not very low on materials, but we're getting there. And that's that's that, and three of those with oak wood. Bat box, glowstone, one of those, and refined iron around. Let's not mess this up now, shall we? And I'm also gonna get myself a diamond sword again. And we charge this one up a little bit. Oh, it's taking forever. Come on now. Come on. Faster. Yeah, that's gonna have to do. Um, we should dump these things in here, since we don't want to carry them around. Okay, let's go. Can't wait longer. And to the nether. Why am I lagging so much? Oh, it's using a lot of memory. Um, second death point there. Oh my god, it's lagging. Okay, uh, I crashed there, and uh, I got some of my items back, but I lost my leather bag, which held all my tools. I also think I lost the remote order. Yes, I did. And uh, I did get the lap pack. That's the more important part. I get... Oh, you're kidding me. I lost my nice pickaxe. Somewhere down there. Oh, that's just sad. Oh, well. Oh, and this time I actually did lose my diamond drill as well. So I suppose I go back and recover from that. There's nothing else to do. But I'm going to end this episode. That was a bit of a rough one, I should say. Ow. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to leave it there. 
and I will see you in the next episode. In the meantime, between episodes, I will go gathering redstone because I'm gonna need a lot of it. I will also... I got a lot of diamond swords now. I'll store them in here. Did I get anything useful here? One coal. Some dirt. Okay, well... I'm gonna have to recover from this, so I'm gonna rebuild my stuff and... Uh, get myself a new couple of items to play with. Um, but more specifically I'm gonna need to remake all my tools. Uh, the tree tap, the remote orderer... I'm gonna have to go back and look at the video footage to see what I had in there so I know what to make. Anyhow guys, I will see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.